Hi friends, um, this is going to be the shortest video <coughs> I've uh, put online so far, um, but there isn't much uh, to show here. Uh, we're just going to uh, put the tool changer casting back in place. Um, you remember my son Piero, you might have seen it on the first video of this uh, series, he was helping me uh, dismantling the machine. Uh, he's uh, at university and he was home for the holidays so he, uh, I asked him to give me a hand um, lifting the tool changer casting uh, to put it back in place and uh, here I am um, just cleaning up the holes with a tap the threaded holes uh, from any paint uh, that might have uh, leaked in and uh, here we go and I'm slowing down the video here just so that you can see <laughs> the satisfying moment when the locating pins uh, find their place and that's pretty much uh, all there is to it um, so I'm just putting a few uh, threads in uh, so that uh, you know the the, the, the the casting can't uh, fall down to uh, tighten the bolts i use the torque meter and um, from a chart i downloaded uh, from the internet uh, the suggestion is 36 foot pound for 3 8 uh, coarse thread bolts uh, with uh, grade 5 and um, that is uh, once converted to uh, inch pound that gives 436 and my torque meter only goes to 255 uh, inch pound so i guess i'm going to have to uh, find a, a torque meter uh, with a higher torque and uh, retighten these um, but still um, I'm wondering do you think that makes sense uh, 36 uh, foot pound or 432 uh, inch pound for uh, 3.8 um, coarse uh, thread anyway uh, let me know in the comments um, so uh, that's pretty much it um, for this video um, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next one uh, I've got a little uh, surprise for you all right bye